Good morning and welcome to my final NaNoWriMo vlog of 2018. I am chronicling the last three days of the month, which will hopefully end in sweet, sweet victory. <laughs> but alas, despite this amazing crunch time, uh, much of my life has to remain the same vis-a-vis. Uh, -vis, I have to go to work, <laughs> gotta get up. Uh, and afterwards, I think I'm gonna go to Panera, as I've been doing uh, most Wednesdays this month. But I think I'm going to go to a different Panera <laughs> because, well, the NaNoWriMo DC group is still meeting in DuPont, but my book club is also meeting at the exact same time in the exact same location. <laughs> uh, they're completely unaffiliated, but I don't know, I just thought it'd be kind of awkward and uh, <laughs> uh, being qu quite silly about it, but I'm, you know, we're so close to the end here that I really feel like what I need to do is focus on the writing and not so much on any social things that are going on around me. <laughs> and I'm also aware, not that this is really important, that uh, all of the public events I've gone to this year have been in D.C. and uh, there just haven't been as many in Maryland that are really close to me. And uh, so I thought, why not go out to some Maryland haunts on my own? And there's this swanky uh, Panera and Bethesda. It should give me a nice uh, place to go and eat and write. <laughs> And I guess I'll bring my iPad because I don't actually have a carrying case for my new uh, netbook yet. Although I do sooner or later want to bring it with me because I bought it so that I could, you know, transport it around as well as write on it here. <laughs> so uh, once I get a case, I think I'll have to see uh, what the weight is like in my bag and all of that. <laughs> but uh, in the meantime, I think maybe I'll take my iPad. I can write well enough on there <laughs> and we'll see how this goes. It is day 29 of NaNoWriMo, which yes, that means I have just a little bit more than a day left because I'm returning home from work now, so <laughs> this time tomorrow it'll be down to the hours, but <laughs> I have a little leeway now, uh, but I don't intend to get too complacent. I got words to write and I'm going to get to it. <laughs> So, uh, just to be on the level about something, uh, I did kind of intend to go to the Bethesda Panera, but I ended up uh, going home to Silver Springs Panera instead, uh, which I guess if you're in the area, I'm giving you uh, plenty of ways to stalk me in these videos if you know the, the Maryland suburbs of DC. But anyway, I decided to, to go to the Silver Spring one because it was a really cold night and I was tired and I wanted to be close to home, so it worked out pretty well. It was uh, very uh, deserted cleaning up basically the whole time, but uh, I got what I needed to do done, so it was all good. <laughs> uh, and now though, I'm going to be just coming straight home <laughs> to, to write, uh, and using uh, NaNoWriMo virtual write-ins to ease me along, because uh, the headquarters and some guests are um, going to be filming for the next couple of days to bring us through to the very end. So I think I'm going to go listen to the one that was recorded earlier today, I think by the headquarters, and uh, then uh, go to some others probably later. But uh, it'll be great for inspiration and for uh, streamlining my writing goals. Uh, I'm hoping to get through two chapters of my fantasy project tonight, uh, chapters uh, 13 and 14, uh, which would be the first two chapters of Block 2 of Act 2. So I'm getting closer at least to the midpoint of the novel. <laughs> so hey, I mean, I started from scratch. Uh, um, completely new project and everything, new genre for me. Like I haven't done fantasy in so long. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy with uh, what I'm doing and uh, and I'm gonna keep on keeping on. Uh, okay, so this is Scott Fam. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you, how do you write an ending? Is everything resolved? <laughs> do you leave things hanging? <laughs> Good question. Uh, yeah, what are, what are, I'm curious to know about you, um, the writers who are coming to an ending, like what does that look like uh, to you? How are you wrapping things up? Or if you're not at your ending yet, like, do you know what's going to happen? Are you waiting to find out? Um, let us, like, yeah, let us know. I'm just, I'm really curious about uh, how this process is uh, for, for everyone. How about you? Because I know you were writing sort of like... Yeah, out of order. That out fell of order. apart. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and 
try it again, I think, at another point. But um, the stuff that I got was, like, starting to get pretty interesting. I think I just kind of lost momentum. Um, but as for an ending, I know part of that was um, hitting... I think when I structured the novel, for, for kind of reference, um, my project this year was um, kind of randomized. Like, every day I would... I, I kind of made a loose structure of about 30 scenes and then every day I just pulled out a random number and wrote that um, and that worked for about 15 days and I kind of fell off. <laughs> but, um, but anyway the idea was that it was going to be like okay you know the last one is going to be just kind of one random scene but um, as the month went on and I kind of narrowed down like okay what's that going to end up being it kind of got more interesting like I kind of unconsciously moved the novel towards those parts mm -hmm. but um yeah, pretty weird stuff, but um, nice. a lot of great chat um, about endings. Somebody says, let's see, uh, Rania S. says, I accidentally wrote the ending scene one day when I was bored and didn't feel like writing where I was in the story. Mm -hmm. That's fair. If you want to get, if you just want to get to your ending and write it, go for it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, man. Somebody, oh, Zara Wright says, my friend chose my ending, which is really interesting uh, to me, like, I'm so curious about how that works. So, like, did you did you give your friend like some options and be like, hey, how should it end? Or did they just say like, hey, this should happen? And you're like, yeah. Cool. I've definitely been known to ask my friend, like, how should I, what should I do? Uh -huh. And for endings, I feel like I've always been bad at endings. My habit, at least for a lot of like my old like short stories and stuff, was like, just just ending. Like, I'm rocking, like somebody walks in the door, that's it. Or like somebody gets a phone call, that's it. Like, uh, you know. Yeah, uh, Brandy Music says my main character died and everything is pretty nicely wrapped up in his death. Like, that's definitely one way to do it. <laughs> okay, you know. Yeah, okay. Um, another question that's important to ask, though, is, like, does everything need to be resolved super neatly? I would argue not really. Like, even if, you don't, right, even yeah. if you don't take, like, the abrupt ending approach, like, it's okay to have some things that are just kind of left to the imagination. I, that's, so, that's my yeah I, I agree like sometimes that's the the books that you like think about and wonder about and like talk to people about and you're like oh but like it was really ambiguous what if this happened like sometimes those are the best mm -hmm. books like those are the ones that stick with you so it's also okay if not everything is totally wrapped up yeah. um, that said if you don't resolve anything at all like readers are probably going to be a little frustrated <laughs> Oh, Zara Wright said that she gave her friend uh, Allison um, two endings, and she chose one. Nice. I like that. Let's um, just try it. Good evening. It is day 30 of NaNoWriMo. The tail end, the very end. <laughs> I've tricked my cat into being in this shot with me with a, with a toy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess uh, when you get to the end of things, you get really devious about how you want to get things done. <laughs> so anyway, that's where I am right now. I just returned from work. I have a few hours left before midnight. I have less than a thousand words to go, so that's good. Uh, and I got through chapters 13 and 14 last night, and actually 14 was my midpoint chapter, so 15, I guess, is... Uh, beyond that <laughs> somewhere it's the end of uh it's the end of my block two of act two so really it's the uh the middle very middle of i guess everything that's going on <laughs> so that's what i will be writing and i will be listening to the word nerds who are hosting the final NaNoWriMo write-in on the NaNo channel. <laughs> I think they just actually finished up doing it in a real time, but I didn't get home in time for that, so I'll just listen to it now. <laughs> I think I like it better uh, being able to control things from uh, the future. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's my plan. I'll just be writing, writing, writing until the very end, and uh, see you at the finish line. <laughs> we had a question. Um, Catherine, how do I double my word count quickly? Any tips? Clone yourself. <laughs> so helpful. Writing sprints are always good. If you can, just like sit down in a room alone and just go 
like don't even look at what you're writing because you don't need to see those typos they don't matter right now um, I like to turn my screen down so it's really dark when I'm trying to write particularly fast because sometimes if I look at what I'm writing then I have a tendency to want to like slow down and think about what comes next and when I'm trying to get a lot down really quickly, the key is to not think about what's happening next and just let it happen. <laughs> I also feel like if you don't win Nano, you still have way more words than you would have. So don't put an immense amount of pressure on yourself if you don't think you're gonna make it. That's my personal opinion. <laughs> a comment that I loved from uh, Tassified blog Vlogs. I'm so confused. I've already hit 50k with five hours to spare. <laughs> what is this madness? What do I do with myself now? Candy. <laughs> Some kind of reward. That, that was me a little bit like, oh, I'm done a day early. What? What other writing projects even exist? It's all been handled for the last work. That's like me when I finish a particularly good book and you're like, what other books exist? Am I supposed to read it now? Series. Exactly, yeah. That's all I know. the nano uh, word counter was kind of nice to me and added a couple of thousand words but I'll take it <laughs> maybe Microsoft Word is wrong <laughs> and anyway I finished a little early this year uh, at least early for me it was around 10 30 I think when I'd uh, finished uh, rambling out my outline for chapter 15 and I decided to give it a go and uh, I won nano <laughs> and it was great even after 15 years it's uh, so great after 30 days of uh, steady progress to finally cross that finish line. So uh, I hope everybody uh, felt great with uh, what they accomplished by midnight uh, of the 30th. <laughs> I did. <laughs> and then I fell asleep and I slept for a long time. <laughs> I think I needed it. I definitely have been staying up really late and having weird sleeping schedules throughout November as I try to get to various word counts throughout the month. <laughs> but uh, hopefully now I'll get back into a sense of normalcy in that way. <laughs> But anyway, uh, I guess I'll try to wrap up with, um, I think I'm gonna try to go to the Thank God It's All Over party. You know, that's the, uh, you know, that's the usual moniker given to um, NaNoWriMo celebration parties um, around the world, I think, uh, so the TGIO party. Uh, and there's one in DC uh, happening, I think, at a bakery in a nice indie bakery. You know, it's so cool. I, I learn about so many different places <laughs> during Nano, uh, just uh, from other people in, uh, in the local area. And so I've never gone, I don't think, to a TGIO party before, but I thought I'd check it out. from uh, the DC TGIO party. I showed you a little bit of footage, including <laughs> a ridiculously scrumptious uh, pace 
pastry. Well, well, bread with Nutella on it, <laughs> which is really over the top. But hey, I just written 50,000 words in a month, so I can have a little treat, right? <laughs> and I didn't pick the pastry place either uh, to meet in, but <laughs> it was great. It was great fun. Uh, there were about 10 of us there, and you know, the mood was really high. I'm pretty sure everyone who came had won, and, and we were talking about our exploits in writing and the silly uh, phrases that we kept on saying over and over again that we'll have to edit out of our later manuscripts and uh, we were talking about things happening around town around nano and things happening on the website for nano and so it's always so great to uh, have a common event uh, when meeting new people to talk about and it just uh, makes me feel fuzzy inside to say I have people <laughs> and especially in this instance because it was right after Nano ended and everyone was on such a high about uh, what had happened and uh, so it was really perfect timing. Overall, I don't think this uh, year uh, was as good as last year. Last year was really special for me. I finished my first comprehensive draft of The Corners, but I had been drafting it uh, much longer, so I was very confident with the story, and I'd been sharing it with my writing group, and my writing group and I got to meet more often last year than this year, but that's just the way things roll. Uh, and of course I've been whining about my technological difficulties, and I'll just take this moment to also uh, harken back to the, like my first... Uh, first few minutes of filming my week one vlog to say that uh, indeed uh, I have finally do have a battery in my phone and that seems to be working well. I mean a functioning battery, <laughs> so bizarre. Uh, and uh, there is going to be, um, the DC Library is hosting a reading um, on Thursday at a, uh, at a bookstore that I'm hoping to go to. I think some of the people I met with tonight are also going. But uh, last year, uh, I uh, signed up to actually read from my manuscript because I was pretty confident in it. But this year, I, I, I really haven't written very many scenes at all. Most of it is drafting, and I just don't feel confident about sharing it, even though obviously nano writing isn't supposed to be amazing. It's supposed to be first drafty, but uh, uh, I'm taking that off this year, but I do uh, intend to keep in with the nano spirit and go to the event. I have finished 15 chapters of my fantasy project out of 27. I have, my dad was saying, how do you know you have 27 chapters? And when I called him on the phone and I said, well, <laughs> you know, uh, I did an outline and basically every plot point is a chapter. And so that is going to be one of my major goals for December. I want to finish this outline, but I also want to streamline it. A lot of what I did over November was very rambly and I want to actually, you know, make it much more coherent to say this is what you have to do and uh, I think I'm gonna be able to do it. I also uh, was t talking in a chat with some friends uh, about uh, the troubles I was having with world building or like hey it's a lot more complicated than I would have thought. <laughs> uh, and they mentioned to me that N.K. Jemison, the thrice winner of the Hugo Award, had a podcast recently where she went through all the down and dirties about world building. So I'm really excited. I think I'll link it down below uh, for myself as well as any of you because that's also something I want to listen to in December and I think will help out my writing tremendously. <laughs> and beyond that, I um, think I might continue with um, one of my Nano Rebel projects uh, that I tend to pull out every uh, November and uh, at least uh, for the last year or so I haven't done any other time, but hey, I can keep the ball rolling on that as well. <laughs> And from there, at the end of uh, December, I will be wrapping up uh, my autumn 2018 quarterly uh, writing stuff and uh, looking into the next three months, uh, and the first three months of 2019 for my writing goals. So I'll leave that for then. I think I have enough on my plate for now. <laughs> and also I will uh, be returning to BookTube. I'll even be uh, vlogging for the next eight days, more or less. Um, I took a page out of the book of uh, a Canadian uh, project. Uh, the They do an advent short story calendar for the Christmas advent, and some of the booktubers uh, take part in uh, reading and showing those stories. So last year I decided I should do a Hanukkah short story reading uh, project where I read eight short stories, one per each night of Hanukkah. And Hanukkah this, uh, this year starts tomorrow night, so I will be reading the final eight stories from this collection. Apples from the Desert uh, by Savion Lichbrett. Uh, she was uh, an Israeli author. I've read the first few stories of this and I really like it, so I'll be looking forward to reviewing uh, the last eight stories. And other than that, I 
plan to return to booktube a little more robustly with uh, tags and am readings and wrap-ups and that sort of thing, so expect to see my face. <laughs> but for now, I think I'm gonna go. I think I rambled on long enough. Uh, I did say it was a less fun year than last year, but uh, I certainly am feeling uh, the joy of the year at the moment. I'm so really glad that I'm continuing to do this project and it's continuing to grow with me. I hope that uh, if you do NaNoWriMo again, you will find it fruitful and growing with you as a writer, and that you keep on keeping on with your projects, if less robustly, throughout uh, 2019. So thanks so much for joining me, everyone, and I'll see you next time.